Hello, I'm Paul Australia Team TV. I am the owner of Scam Relationship Education Services Group. Romantic scams are when some person tricks you into a relationship by pretending they're someone else, but behind the computer they are another person tricking you. The aim of the romantic scammer is to meet you on a date site and set up a strong and powerful relationship. The problem is that it is full of truths and lies. This can mess with your mind and information does not always add up. Just remember they make you the victim of their crime, you did not know, even disabled, professionals, scam education people can be scammed also, you are not alone neither are you foolish or stupid as these scammers do this for a living. At some point a issue or a problem happens, and scammer need you to send money dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. You do love them, but more so they try and trick you out of money firstly it can be in gifts of small amounts of cash otherwise they cannot afford to communicate. One form of guilt and blackmail is you don't want to lose a good catch, but it is the photo you will be not seeing remember this. The person in the photo is not always going to be the real person you know to be Max or David just frauding you. A topic of death of their wife and all family members can be at times a heartstring pulling situation. People do die, but not at the extent of feeling sorry for them. We all face problems in this matter also. My fake child on the instant messenger said hello age 6 or 12 this is just typed in the contact. This can be lies also. Asking for money or credit is not a crime, the is a crime, when deceptions are made or created, or when you are tricked into this by guilt. One common feeling is expressed if you love me, you will give me money. This can be for phone cards, internet time credits or even a plane trip to your country via Western Union or other money transfer places of hundreds or thousands of dollars. Many scammers have a broken web camera, or can only send you photos, as if it is a prize and they have to work hard to post a photo. Not all black Nigerian people are scammers, and not many Russian people are scammers either. On the internet date sites many people do scam for love and this means money even in your country they are scamming of many ethnic backgrounds, not just two countries alone. Some scammers ask for sex on the internet, called instant messenger sex then can turn it around and blackmail you, so be careful. This has happened to many people even me. So you are not alone, in sharing feelings with a stranger who is romancing you. I am Paul Australia Team TV I have helped many people over the years who H has been scammed and have upset many scammers with the help my team has given to clients in education of romantic scams and where scamming people have been exposed for scams of romance on the internet. Every now and then the dirty cockroaches are exposed. Some still don't give a shit who they hurt, that is a fact. As they can try and hide the real person they are on the other side of the computer this is a sad fact. You are not alone in this fraud, that has happened to you. Contact me, if you need help, or have a chat. Warning not all scam help sites do help people, but have scammers ready to scam you again. The reason is, that scammers is a large crime on the internet, and would not like you to expose them. When nobody believes you I do, I am married now, and after being scammed I do know how it feels to be scammed. If I had my way I would break each finger, so they could not fraud anyone again, but this is the anger, I have towards these people who abuse trust of others, and pretend to be of a church or religion nature, but again this is the acting scammers do to fool you, that they are some type of holy person of some faith. Lies and lies once again. Paul Australia Team TV. It upsets scammers to be busted on the job and some will do anything to try and clear their good name by pretending it was not them and some person used their computer. This is the lies they keep telling over and they want to believe this also. In other words they will do what it takes to make out you are a liar and they never scammed you. Even removing information from the internet, like email addresses remove profiles of date sites. Set up fake people, to say you were crazy it never happen again remember they are criminals, and are not society's normal type people. I have been through this. Some scams have a fake FBI or a nice policeman contacts you saying they will catch these people for a cost. This once again is about scammers at work once again. The other scam is the scammer now tells the truth, and has fallen in love with you. Not the scammer was acting age 28 or 53 and age is just a number. Now the scammer is telling the truth he is age 16 and wants a life. Time relationship these people are educated to tell lies over, and over mixed with truth. Best to dump their sorry ass, and move on to a healthy relationship. Report this to your local police or the federal crimes department. 
Scammers can give you fake phone numbers, link Sam websites to contact and have a friend, or pay someone in corruption to do their dirty work once again. So be careful. I am so sorry you fell for the scams, and it cost you the love of your heart and all the money involved. Never cash checks, checks from a stranger, it could cost you fraud. Also, with your bank from being kind. Some scammers want you to get involved in money greed scams or reshipping scams. Then you are involved in their crime world. They can even threaten to kill you if you don't do as they say. Much teachings in scam education services, but can't do it all at once. Again you are dealing with criminals not average people who function day to day in day to day living. People do lie, but these people are doing this as fraud and dishonest living under the mask of being poor and deception. Paul Australia Team TV